Join me as I take on the challenge of unraveling the mysterious technique of love bombing used by narcissists for emotional control. Welcome to today's video, where we unveil the manipulation tactic known as love bombing. Love bombing is a tactic often used by narcissists to gain control over their victims, and it's essential to understand how it works to protect ourselves from falling into their trap. At its core, love bombing is an excessive display of affection, usually at the beginning of a relationship, designed to create an intense emotional bond with the other person. This can be through lavish gifts, constant communication, and over-the-top romantic gestures. The goal is to create a sense of euphoria, making the victim feel like they're walking on cloud nine. One of the reasons love bombing is so effective is that it taps into our deep-seated desire for connection and validation. We crave attention, affection, and appreciation, when someone seemingly provides us with all that, it's natural to feel drawn to them. However, with a narcissist, this display of affection is not genuine, it's a calculated move to gain control and manipulate. As the relationship progresses, the narcissist will begin to pull back on the affection, creating a sense of uncertainty and anxiety in the victim. This is where the emotional manipulation begins, as the victim starts to question their own worth and becomes desperate for the narcissist's approval. Let's dive deeper into the signs and behaviors associated with love bombing and how it differs from genuine affection. One of the most significant red flags is the intensity of the display of affection. If someone is showering you with excessive attention and gifts from the get-go, it's likely a ploy to gain control. Genuine affection builds over time, it's not a sudden and intense display. Another sign is the lack of consistency in their behavior. Narcissists often go from hot to cold, leaving their victims feeling confused and uncertain. This inconsistency is designed to keep the victim on their toes, constantly seeking validation and approval. Love bombing also often involves idealization, where the narcissist will put their victim on a pedestal, making them feel like they're the most special person in the world. This is a tactic to gain control and create a sense of dependence on the narcissist. Genuine affection, on the other hand, is built on mutual respect, trust, and communication. It's a slow-burning fire that grows over time, not a sudden explosion of attention and affection. The key moment is revealing how love bombing sets the stage for emotional manipulation and abuse. When we're caught in a love bombing cycle, we become vulnerable to the narcissist's tactics, and it's challenging to break free. The manipulator will use guilt, anger, and self-pity to keep us in line making us feel responsible for their emotions and well-being. As the relationship progresses, the emotional manipulation escalates, and the victim becomes trapped in a cycle of abuse. The narcissist will use love bombing as a tool to keep their victim in line, threatening to withdraw their affection if they don't comply. Love bombing is a form of psychological manipulation, and it's essential to recognize the signs to protect ourselves. By understanding how narcissists use love bombing, we can avoid falling into their trap and empower ourselves to build healthier relationships. To wrap up, we'll summarize the dangers of falling for love bombing and how to protect yourself. Remember, love bombing is not genuine affection, it's a calculated move to gain control. Trust your instincts, take things slow, and prioritize your own emotional well-being. Your emotional well-being is important, and it's crucial to protect it from love bombing. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on dealing with toxic relationships.